At UNLV Film, we not only believe in the commitment to a transformative education, but also to community. And every Thursday at 7 o'clock, we have what we call Film Thursdays. And so this is where we decided would be a great way to celebrate the 10th anniversary of Stealing Las Vegas. For us, it's going to start a little bit early at 6.30, there'll be a step and repeat. Actors will be there, alumni will be there, and they'll all connect. We'll go inside, we'll introduce the players, we'll talk fondly of our beloved Michael Tylo and Brian Roback, who are no longer with us, but were such crucial faculty and student uh, collaborators on the film. And then we'll talk about what it was like to work under the person that changed Hollywood uh, by creating strange B material, but he's the most famous film school in Hollywood. Martin Scorsese, Francis Coppola, Jonathan Demme, Ron Howard, Sandra Bullock, Jack Nicholson, all, James Cameron, all graduated from the Roger Corman Film School. And we were lucky enough by meeting him at Cinevegas and having him see one of our co-curricular projects having him call and say, I'd like you to direct a film for me. And then take on the challenge and the task and deliver. Roger Corman, Academy Award recipient, had seen a film that we'd done called Primo at the Cine Vegas Film Festival. And he called me and he said, I'd like you to direct a film for me. And I thought, well, let's bring it to school. I realized we were going to go through cuts, which we did. And that $200,000 would allow, I knew it was going to be about a five-year process from writing all the way to taking the film to the Cannes Film Festival at the marketplace there. So uh, we were able to do a structure, a sequence of classes in which the students would do what they do in theater. They would get in theater, you put on a theater production and you, you have faculty direct, design, and do costume, do all these lead roles, and students learn about the process of creating a top semi-professional theatrical piece. And uh, what's interesting 10 years later is all the students that had key positions on the show uh, have had very good uh, beginnings of careers and careers in Hollywood. And they'll be there at the screen. What should you expect if you come to FDH 109? You'll get to meet the cast the alumni crew, and some of the creators behind the scenes, and you'll get to watch the film on a 26-foot beautiful screen in a Dolby Atmos theater, and it's a truly immersive experience. The, uh, the mix uh, sounds great in that space, uh, and the story, even though you think you've seen it, you'll see it and live it and experience it if you come and join us. And then at the end, we'll have questions and we'll extend that till uh, the next day in class, bringing the students back and talking specifically about what their crafts were that they learned and how it transformed their life. Uh, at the center of UNLV Film, aside from being a family in which we don't let people go in a way they know they can always come back and they can always share with a new crop of students. And this is an incredibly important uh, cycle. The most exciting part of this, of course, is the day after the screening is when another co-curricular comes uh, to start shooting. Professor Brett Levner's Riot and Bloom will be shooting the next day right after our screening. So we're really glad to not only have uh, faculty leading projects, but we also are lucky enough to have the Johnny Brennan Filmmaker Grant, which every two years gives a group of students $25,000. And this is not just any group of students, this is a feature incubator. So we will have 12 to 15 entries, which will pitch screenplay, director, 
producer, cinematographer, editor, production designer, costume designer, all between the time when they're graduating and the time when they're heading off into the professional world or graduate school. So that allows a micro-budget expression of what the more ambitious $200,000 film is. It's a really rewarding process. It's a really a process that tests you in ways that you don't even think you could be tested. And uh, it's great to actually see it and share it now that we have a wonderful screening room here at UNLV. So you can't make a film without a producer. I think in, in the study of film, we give a lot of credit to the director and certainly uh, the director answers all sorts of questions and serves a story and has a specific take on what that is. But so does the producer. And the producer is an umbrella all the way from the beginning of the selection of the material to developing it. Uh, in the case of Professor and Associate Chair and Director of Production Operations and Producer of Co-Curricular Film Projects, Warren Cobb, uh, he does everything and he also co-wrote the piece. So the piece was originally written uh, on a first draft by one of our graduates, Noah Miller, who's working professionally now, and who Professor Cobb and I sat in an office and for a year worked on the script and shared it with the class that was doing the production for the film. And we would also share the notes that New Horizons Pictures had. And we were very lucky to work with Nate Bynum from the theater department, uh, professional actor in residence, and Michael Tylo, uh, who's no longer with us. And this is really a way of celebrating uh, a really resonant and, and uh, comedic role for him. He really enjoyed the experience. And I think Eric Roberts, and Antonio Fargus and the, all the young professionals that worked on it have had a really good impact on what we value a lot in the department and its performance. And that was central to Michael Tyler's attraction to the program was the fact that we respected the performers, we respected the story and the integration of story and performance to create something that was palpable and uh, exciting. And certainly you can't get more exciting than uh, a working class uh, casino servers and, and, and technicians deciding that they've had enough when they discover that the owner of the casino is going to not only fire them and get money for that, but also uh, have $20 million stolen on the premises. So they turned the tables on him. And Eric Roberts was a joy to work with. He's been in a lot of movies. And I think the one thing that we really pride ourselves is not only to get the result of the film, but that the process be as professional and as memorable as, uh, as you'd want them to have in a career in film. It's a unique experience and we've been very lucky to be able to offer it to our students and, uh, and have the support of our leadership with Dr. Heather Addison uh, and Dean Nancy Usher, uh, letting us continue initiatives that worked, that sent students to grad school, that gave students careers and allowed them to make meaning out of the transformative education that we provide here at UNLV Film.